Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be trying my luck on the firing range. It uh, dates from 1850 roughly for what I found right up to World War II so uh, let's see what we find today. Today I'm using the Equinox 600 which is really my go-to machine. It's a nice easy machine to use. You get plenty of signals. It's a powerful little machine and uh, I'll put it in field two today, which is what I normally put it in. First hole of the day, and I've only really just got on the field. Let's see, hopefully it's a little coin. Oh my God, it's a Roman. First hole of the day, a lovely Roman coin. Look at that. That's Constantine. Oh, what a super find. That's Mark from Metal Detective Lincolnshire coming across. Can't believe my first signal, first find, and it's a Roman coin. Oh, bloody hell. That'll be it for the day now. I won't find anything else. <laughs> yeah, Constantine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, lovely condition. It's broken off there, but you get details perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Well, see, this is the uh, firing range, so we were pretty. Yeah. So, but then the Roman fields are just there, so. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And we've done this area loads of time. Yeah. Haven't we? And look at that, how deep that is there. What's that? Three inches? Yeah, about three inches. Crack in. Yep. Brilliant fine. And target number two, give me a cracking signal, but it's when we had full copper on the coins. It's a modern day penny. So uh, two signals, two coins so far. Not a bad day to start with. Now I'm having a bit of look today. This is hole number three and find number three. So uh, I thought at first it was a bit of jewelry or something. It was coming up uh, 14, I think on the Equinox, uh, but it's just a little bit of uh, junky chainy type thing, but still a sweet little find. So again, coming up at number 14 on the Equinox and I seem to be getting a lot of signals around the 14. I think that is just part of a zip. Yep. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? It's just part of a zip somebody's lost. And then just to bring you back down to earth, you get finds like this. Now that came up a lovely 16 high tone on the Equinox 600. And uh, yeah, unfortunately it's just a bottle top. But uh, there you go, in the bag and out the field it goes. Now coming up a nice strong 22 on the Equinox and I'm having a belting little day. That's another coin. I think it's only a penny. Yep. Queen Elizabeth penny, but uh, this is the firing range where normally I'd find mini balls, bullets, bits of hand grenade and uh, mortar fins. And today, so far I found two pennies and a Roman coin. And this is more what I was expecting to find on the range, to be honest. Uh, came up a nice sharp crisp 12 on the Equinox and uh, it's a bullet casing, so let's hope we find a few more. Now these little babies always give a strong 17 signal on the Equinox, and there they screw from the side of a Mills bomb. I'll put a picture up to see, uh, so you can see where they come from, but uh, yeah, I find plenty of these in this field. Now I don't know if you can hear that because I've got the headphones on, but that's a good signal and good numbers on the screen. I wasn't expecting it to be one of these though. And this is one of the things I've been looking for, so I'm really over the moon. And that is a mini ball. So uh, that is actually the predecessor to the modern bullet, really. So that would fire out of a rifled barrel. And if I remember rightly, they fired three times further than a musket ball. And uh, with quite a bit of pelt, because that's obviously hit something there probably a target on this range somewhere but lovely what a great find dead chuff with that because that's what I've been looking for today so far now I'm stood where I found that mini ball and they date from I think they started in the 1850s and I'm at the range area now and if you can just zoom down there to roughly I keep saying around about that tree there is where I found a military button from the Lincolnshire voluntary rifles and that was dated around about the 1850s as well. So they'd be firing from down there and aiming up here. And it's gonna be a spin round. The slope goes further up, you know, a lot further up there as well. So 
interesting little range. Now, unfortunately, I've not bought a tripod with me today. So I'm going to attempt to dig this one out one handed if possible. But I think I know what this is. I'm hoping I know what it is. Just be careful because these are usually sharp. It is. It is. Oh my God. I could be going for the full uh, set today if I find a part of a hand grenade, the, you know, the main part. But yeah, that's a mortar fin from a two inch mortar. So again, they'd be firing them from where I showed you earlier and uh, onto the range here. But that's World War II. I think actually they started bringing these mortars back into service in the Gulf War for smoke, uh, for laying down smoke, if I remember uh, rightly. But there you go. Two inch mortar fin. Fantastic, what a day. And that side screw, number two, coming up exactly the same numbers and everything, same tone. There, the coinage keeps coming out, although it's only a modern 10p, but uh, there's another coin. And quite a different day to what I was expecting today. Hey, look at that, look. That's the base of a Mills bomb. So I only need a bullet tip now, and I've got the full works out of the range of what we normally find. Then we have again giving the numbers of 17 on the VDU on the Equinox 600. That's another side screw from a Mills bomb. And there we have another Mills bomb base or hand grenade base, which we're going to say. And I'll just clean it up and we'll uh, get the numbers off there. But that's number two so far today. It's a bit windier up here the higher up I get, but uh, still pulling out the old Mills bombs bases. Look, so the amount of times I've been on this range, I'm surprised there's any more of these left to dig, but. Uh, they still keep popping up and they give a really lovely signal. And that, my friends, is another mini ball. Um, and that's in good condition. I'm really pleased with that one. There's no, it's not hit anything. So someone was a bad shot. That's the little skirt that opens up uh, when it gets hot and then connects to the rifling on the barrel. But great, that's lovely. Another mini ball. And then we have mini ball number three that's just a few meters away from where i've just found the second mini ball so and that's also in good condition i hope you like the video and uh, please watch again next time until then take care everybody